Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome. It's Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard. Thank you for joining me. Um, interesting compilation with three ears in, uh, all very different uh, for different reasons. Um, the first one here, this lady, I think the other ear of this lady was in the previous video. Um, and she fully admitted to wedging everything in there with cotton bud. And as you can see, she's done the same thing on this yeah. side as well. Again, been really lucky because she's oh, really pushed it down deep. Um, now this, when it came out, I, I thought, oh, we might get lucky and get a really long um, uh, ribbon of skin. Um, and it, it, it was relatively long. Um, but it, it's quite difficult to film when you kind of halfway out the ear like this because you, you're more really doing it with, with the naked eye not so much with the endoscope it's, it's kind of a bonus if you get it, if you capture it on camera because I'm, I'm actually looking uh, when I'm doing this here I'm actually looking uh, around the uh, ar around the device we record with and see with the naked eye because it's not inside the ear it's it, it's outside it and um, I didn't get the forceps there because I thought this was too soft it would just kind of cut through it but as you can see, the finding tube brought that out quite nicely and it's left this on the eardrum. <laughs> Very similar to the, to the previous video, but uh, thankfully not as big a quantity, um, certainly not as impacted. But again, she's done well to get it all the way down here because it, it wasn't the, the, the biggest ear from what I remember. Um, but this was a lot more straightforward than the other one. Fortunately, it just broke off there. So let's just go down uh, right on the eardrum and get that last one there. Um, she didn't actually notice um, too much of a hearing loss, believe it or not, uh, with this inner ear, which is surprising really, because it's sitting right on there. But as you can see that lifted up there nicely. Please be in one piece. Um, there's a couple of little specks oh. left. I'm not entertaining going down the eardrum for those little specks. There's no clinical need or benefit to getting it. And the next one, this lady, quite a, quite a story with this one. Um, she had had some bleeding in this ear. Uh, and I'm not sure, that, that might explain that little dark area there. Um, it could just be very oxidized skin. Um, but she'd had surgery, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, in fact. Um, she had a, a grommet put in. She, she actually believes that it wasn't in because I think I believe it fell out quite quickly afterwards. So she's not sure whether it was actually inserted in correctly or it just came away. It came out of the little, because what they did, they cut a little hole in the eardrum, put this little tube through it. It's to help with um, a middle ear pressure to equalize it. Um, but, so she's not sure whether it ever went in in the first place. And this, this bit could have been what has migrated off the eardrum. You know, it might have took a couple of years actually to, to reach this point. Uh, so it could well be a little bit of dried blood there from uh, from the surgery. Certainly no evidence of any grommets either. And you will see after I remove this, I think I'm going to get the forceps, uh, that there is a little mark um, on the eardrum. So it, it, I do I do suspect she certainly has. They certainly have. There you go. Can you see that little mark there? So that's that's where they probably put the grommet in. Uh, but again, she, she, she doesn't think it, it, it was ever in properly. <laughs> she thinks it fell out quite quickly afterwards. But even if it didn't stay in, it would have left that gap open for a bit. So it would have helped uh, the problem somewhat, maybe not for as long as it should have done. Um, the last one was a relatively straightforward one. It was just a chap who came to see me who uh, couldn't hear much at all. He had this quite soft uh, wax on the outside, so I'll just get rid of that first. And then I can work my way inside the ear. Peels away quite nicely, this one. Can you see the layers of skin there? You can see the little lines, can't you, underneath it? Now that, that's the lines. It's kind of like the, you know, when you chop down a tree, you get the rings around it uh, as things have aged. And you kind of get the same thing here when the skin is migrating uh, from the top layer of the eardrum all the way up the ear canal. You can kind of stagger in these lines. Um, or I suppose similar to when you, you know, when you drink a pint and <laughs> you get your beer and you get the rings all the way down the lower and lower and lower it gets. Um, whenever I have a pint, I don't tend to get many. <laughs> a couple of sups and it's gone. <laughs> um, 
So as you can see, there's a, a, a layer of skin envelope in that one, uh, which can tend to squeak sometimes. So I'm going to try and avoid that bit there and get it from the top. And it came out pretty quickly, this. It uh, softened it well. And instant relief for the chap. A very happy camper indeed. I hope that yeah, comes. Nice dark chunk. Um, good looking here. eardrum. Uh, not too right. bad at all and a lovely clear ear canal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. But for now, take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Ta-da!